Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Wanderers. Today I'm whispering again because Alice is over there sleeping and I was just resting before we go on our little hunt today. I don't know where, where we are following the Pierce, Wilbur, and the Jurassic Arts into the woods and um... Yeah, so let's talk about the last episode. In the last episode, a weird caravan popped up in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, it shows up once a month on a full moon. And so, we are going to follow them because Sage thinks it has something to do with what's going on here. So, and honestly, I do agree. The more I'm learning about this, the more there's definitely something going on. So, let's go downstairs. I'm going to quickly grab um, some things Let, let's grab these things just in case we end up needing to fight somebody let's see, there we go and let's go down and see what sage is up to um oh beatrice is here uh what's going on beatrice was telling me something she saw last night what did you see beatrice well, you know how Sage was asking about the caravan? Last night, I was unloading the boxes, and I opened something I wasn't supposed to, and a skull came out. A, a, a skull? What? What? Right? I don't know what you guys are up to, or what's going on, but... I'm sick of living in blissful ignorance. I swore a duty to protect this village, and something just doesn't seem right. Beatrice, I'm so glad you're going to join us. We could use your strength. She's red. Uh, yeah, sure thing. So, what are you guys planning exactly? I mean, it's not the most complex plan, but we just plan on going to follow the, uh, party? I don't know what to call it. Like, Pierce, Wilbur, and... The Jurassic Guards into the woods because Sage said they're they come once a month and then they disappear in the woods and so yeah we're, we're just gonna follow them I see what would you like me to do just to come with us of course when are we going well we're going to be following those guests once they leave the guard tower yeah once once they leave that's when we're gonna leave Hmm, they may be on the move soon. Pierce said he was going on guard duty tonight. I'm assuming he was going with them. You... You know he's a part of this? He was there when I found the skull. He knew about it, so... I think so. Let's go. Like I said, they should be going soon. Alright, let's, um... I guess the guard tower is where we're heading? Let's go there. Wow, Sage, I... I'm surprised I don't see us. We're not really that well hidden. You're going on patrol? Yes, I have to escort these people to a nearby town. Why? It's an emergency. Political matter. Beatrice, go to sleep. I know we don't get along all the time, Pierce, but I love you so much. Please stay safe. You're all I have left. He looks confused and upset. What are you going on about? It's... it's just dangerous out there lately. Oh. He pats her on the head. Love you, too. It'll be okay, Beatrice. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, god damn it, not these jerks again. You are not permitted to leave. Excuse me? I'm the current head guard. I can do what I want. Him and the other guard laugh. All right, little kitten. <coughs> Beatrice! Am I still a little kitten? And now you are definitely not permitted to leave. <sighs> Beatrice... I could take them on if I wanted and win. But that would end badly for us, because if you kill a Jurassic guard, you get arrested and sent to the capital of the kingdom. How else can we get out? Oh, I know an inconspicuous way we could get out. 
You are kidding me. How did you even find out about this place? Even I didn't know. Uh, Pierce showed me. Why did he show you this? Um, reasons. Anyways, let's go so we can catch up with them. Where are we? Um, we're just a little ways from the town. It's over there, and this is a abandoned bandit camp. How are we supposed to find them? If we walk back to the outskirts of the village, we might be able to see where they are. They will have to have a light to get through the dark. That's a really good point, Beatrice. Um, I guess let's go this way. They left from the gate on this side. There they are. Why are they just standing outside of a... A, a wall of dirt? What the hell? What's that stuff on the wall? I don't know. It looks like some sort of cult ritual is happening. I, I don't know what's happening. I I've never seen this before. What was that blinding light? What the? Are they using magic? They- they can't be. Pierce is strongly against it, ever since we were kids. I mean, I, I don't know what magic looks like, but I, that looks like magic to me. Let me see if I can get a better look. Looks like Wilbur's leading it. Pierce looks like he's not really doing anything. Can you hear us, King Elric? Yes, my children. How is the plan going? The time has almost come. There's... maybe... a problem. A problem? This plan has been in effect for a hundred years. The time is now, and you've come across a problem? I thought I told you where everyone of importance is. As long as you keep them off the path, then the plan should be fine. That's the issue. She's become curious. She's smart for a woman. Guys, we should get out of here. How, who knows how long we can stay here without them seeing us. Who are they talking to? It's such a booming voice. What king? Quiet. I think I can hear someone. King Elric. We must go. Sage, come on. Yeah, no, we gotta get out of here. I, I think they hear us. What the hell did we just see? I... I don't know. It, it looks like some sort of... Ritual? Cult? Magic thing? I don't... I don't know. We need to go back. Uh, Sage, are you crazy? Th that's way too risky. They heard us talking. They seem like they might be leaving. We should get Basil. He's smart. Maybe he can help us. If they're leaving, I need to go back quickly before Pierce gets there. Yeah, that's pretty smart, because if he figures out we're gone, he's gonna know something's up, especially you, since you live in the guard tower with him. Let's go. Please do not go back tonight. Who knows when they'll be gone? Wait until the morning and go then. The guests will be gone, and I'll make sure Pierce and Wilbur don't go there while you two and Basil check it out. That's a really good plan. Yeah, Beatrice, that's really good. I I just, please make sure they don't show up while we're in there, because that would be really bad. Um, anyways, Sage, we should probably get some rest so we can wake up early tomorrow and get there before Pierce or Wilbur are there. <sighs> what the? Sage, why are you staring at me? Come on, we have to go. Beatrice just told me she's distracting them now. Oh, okay, geez, just let me eat some food before we go. She pounds on the door. Basil, Basil, Basil! Yep, Basil, answer the door. 
What? Sage? It's like 8 a.m. This is the one day I don't have to wake up early. Come back later. No, no, no. Basil, this is really important. I've been helping Sage look into what's been happening in town, and it's something very bad. What do you mean? Last night, we followed those people from the caravan into the woods. They were talking about some spirit thing in a cave. They said their plans will be soon in effect, but then they said some girl is asking questions. They could be talking about me, Basil. You have to believe me. Chai and Beatrice were there. Uh, maybe you were just seeing stuff in the dark. Talking to spirits sounds like an old tale. People lost that type of magic centuries ago. No, Basil, that's not possible. How could we both be seeing, or all three of us be seeing the same apparition? That's true. Fine, show me what you're talking about. Wait, where did it, where did it go? It was right here. What? N no, it, it was right here, Basil. You have to believe us. It was right here. Listen, Sage, I love you, but I think you've lost it. There's nothing here, and you've dragged poor Chai and Beatrice into this weird fantasy of yours. No, Basil, she's telling the truth. It was right here. Where did it go? Basil leans against the wall. Maybe Wilbur was right. Maybe I should take you to Gillum. What? You were talking to Wilbur? What is that supposed to mean? Why would you send me there? Sage, you've lost it. There isn't anything here. You were saying? Uh, come on, guys, let, let's go in. Wow, this looks so different from yesterday. It's covered in obsidian? Um, anyways, Basil, do you know what this writing is? It looks like Dracinian. Dracinian? What's that? It's the old language of the ancients of Drassa. Ancients of... do you speak it? Well, I can kind of read it. I've done some trading with Drassa before, and have come in contact with some old books and have studied them in my free time. Let's see, it's some kind of legend. Legend? What do you... what do you mean? Trapped in a broken dimension by the powerful four, I must break from this prison. It will take 100 years, but when the moon is risen and as red as blood, the portal can be opened. To form the portal, you need list of ingredients. I can foresee the future, but only so far. A woman, born of bulbs, will begin the downfall of this, but she is distant down in lineage. Do not let her find out. Do anything necessary to keep her at bay, but you cannot kill her, for it would have dire consequences. She will gather the descendants of the powerful four and defeat us. I predict this will not happen. Do everything in your power to keep her under lock and key without suspicion. If you feed into it, then she will learn. There is a blur in vision. Someone new? I can't see it, but I don't trust anyone not inside. Don't betray me. There is a line I can see diverting from the path, but the chances of this happening is slim to none. There is a blur in the view. Someone new? I can't see, but don't trust anyone not inside. Don't betray me. There is a line I can see diverting from the path, but the chances of this happening is slim to none. Stop her and her accomplices. Keep her away from magics and non-humans. She cannot know her potential. We cannot risk her finding the others from each realm. Keep her away from those with true, loyal, kind hearts, for the human in this group is how it will begin the fall. Under no circumstances should you allow her to go to the heart of Drassa, for that's where he lies. If you have succeeded in destroying all books revolving around the four, this plan will be golden. That is the most confusing thing I've ever heard, Basil. That was translated... That was written so bad. Was this, like, supposed to rhyme or something? Is this... Uh, that is written so poorly. I'm rusty, okay? Are you two morons ignoring the fact that we are in a hundred year ancient legend? Like, uh, dear lord, does this not shock you? Well, yeah, but it was terribly written. I literally am having, like, it's so hard to comprehend. Don't you think it's weird that they would leave it written here? If we didn't find it in the cave with the legend, the legend would have never been set in place. Uh, yeah, that is strange. 
maybe they need it there since they can't write it in in books? I, I don't know. But how do we even know this is real? I mean, it could be some kind of joke, right? It meant to freak us out? Who the hell would do this just to scare us? We aren't that important, Chai. We know something isn't right in this town, and this legend matches up with what's been going on. Okay, f okay, fine. Yeah, okay, fine. But how on earth are we going to find all those people? I mean, there's no names, location stated, no family history at all, and most of the books are probably destroyed by now. Well, it seems like one of them is from each realm. The human realm is the largest, so the hardest person to find, I would assume, would be the man with the pure heart, which is where we need to start. I, I guess, but I mean, it did, the one location it did say was the heart of Drassa, so I'm assuming that's the capital of Drassa, and I remember when I was in Gillum, I, I did meet a very kind soldier. He was from Drassa, and yeah, he was really sweet. If this is fate, maybe it was him. I mean, it's worth a shot. We have to go there anyways, and this is our only lead. What was that? <gasps> Are we locked in here? What's that noise? We must have set off an alarm or something. Um, oh my god, what, how do we... What do we do? There's nowhere to hide. I... I, I don't know.